Hello there my good friends of YouTube, it's been a bit of a while since I've done a video but uh, you know, it's, I've just had a lot of stuff on with Christmas and everything else and you know how it is when you've got so much stuff to do and plus I've had uh, quite a lot of um, bits to uh, sort out and plus I've been making this as well um, basically I made myself a little Tesla coil that um, is basically portable when I can just move it around um, basically this involves, um, it's got all the um, capacitors inside, it's got, I'll show you which capacitors it's got actually there we go, this is the capacitors it's got these are uh, out of microwave, the inverter style microwaves and um, these are 3000 volts each at focusing a bit. There you go. I've got um, one, two, three, four. I've got 12 of these, but in a four. Basically, there we go. I've got three rows of these. Um, what is it four rows I've got? I think it's no, it's four rows I've got of these. Sorry, in series, uh, in parallel. Sorry, four loads in parallel, and then I've got four four um, rows of the eight. I think it's eight two twos um, of, of um, capacitors. I've got eight of those again, and then they're put together in parallel. So. That's what uh, that's what the capacitors are in the bottom of there, all neatly done and stuff. And uh, there's my spark gap, which I've got another one of those as well. Um, pretty decent. Uh, I got it out of uh, those TIG welders. I think it was TIG welders that I had, or stick welders. No, TIG welders, weren't they? And you know they they work out pretty well. And uh, there's my primary, and then that goes on to my secondary, which is just there. About a th I think there's around about. A th about about 400 turns, I think, something like that. I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you, if I remember rightly. But uh, there's quite a lot of turns, and it's it's quite uh, thin wire. Maybe if I can focus in, can you see that wire? It's very very um, the grade of the wire is very very thin. Um, and then this box here, which is the the power supply, which has got a ZVS driver in there. I'll show you the ZBS driver. I've got this is the one I've got inside of there, exactly the same, which is down the bottom just like that. And then I was able to get a fly back in there. It's all nicely, neatly done, all inside. I should have actually left it open actually, but I've um, I put the plastic tops in there now. But uh, this goes from uh, nine volts up to twenty-six volts, which is a maximum voltage because of the size of the wires that are inside. And plus, um, any more than that, this this uh, heat sink gets a bit too warm. But uh, yeah, I managed to get it all nicely built inside of there. And these are the power inputs, and this is the output. Pretty cool, eh? And got my high voltage sticker there, which is off of my friend John. High voltage projects. So give me these for Christmas. Four of those, and they give me an NST for Christmas. Very nice of him, eh? So yeah, so. Um, all this entails is just connecting the power supply up to it, and away we go. These are the capacitors. Uh, these are the capacitors, which are joined to the spark gap, just by the one little tiny wire just there. And there's my little um, top top load. You want to see it working? It's working on 14 volts at the minute. I don't want to fry my phone. <laughs> so, let's can I get it connected and I'll show you. If you wonder what that noise is in the background, that whole minute's me bloody Xbox. That's right.
so there you go not bad eh a few more tweaks to do with it but uh you know it sits it runs really really well i mean i can i left it for about half an hour running well not half an hour about 20 minutes and um you know it's it was running fine and the the, the heat sink on the uh, zvs driver was just warm the flyback was just was just getting warm so i mean it runs really really well for that i mean i'm able to uh, you know with the different top loads i can basically just connect it to any one which is t to uh, tune it in t with it whichever top load I have on it well yeah it's not a bad little uh, little project I did you know what I'm like my project boxes I mean this this just looks fantastic this does that's the best thing I've ever built that is nice and neat looks really well really well made that does and I'm very happy with that as well <laughs> pretty cool eh? that stops any arcs from Getting from there, from the primary and jumping up to the secondary, so it's won't go past that. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you've all had a great Christmas, and I wish you all the best for the new year. Um, thank you very much for uh, all your support and comments, and uh, look after yourselves, and we'll speak again.